2005, a road rage shooting on Sierra Highway takes the life of a four-year-old boy. A man and woman now facing charges. One of them was in jail just a week ago. Our Jennifer McGraw is live in Lancaster with new details about this case. Hi, Jen. Yeah, the shocking death of this four year old has local leaders calling on the full prosecution of these suspects. And again, this man should have been in jail. Deputies are investigating a violent road rage shooting on Sierra Highway. They say a family of three was on their way to the grocery store when a driver cut them off, pulled up alongside the passenger door and fired off eight shots. Striking gore. Uh in the back of the seat of the car as he was sitting down talking to his parents. The family rushed their four-year-old boy to the hospital, but Gore Adamian didn't survive. The family right now is uh, totally devastated. They're confused in and out of awareness, consciousness, uh, and disbelief that this happened to their family. Dr. Miguel S. Coronado is speaking on behalf of the family. Right before Christmas. Uh, it's just devastating. Uh, I just cannot imagine. I mean, how do you even celebrate Christmas? I, I couldn't even think the Christmas trees and the presents and the food or all that is meaningless because they don't have their child. And he was just a, from what I'm told, just a beautiful boy who, like any boy, loved trucks and cars and stuffed animals and loved his mom and loved his dada and loved his, his brother and his family. And, uh, He's gone. Detectives arrested the passenger, Alexandria Gentile, 27, and the shooter, Byron Burkhart, 29 years old. This particular suspect was in custody a week ago for a gun-related felony, and they had to let him go because of the new bail laws. The mayor is calling on the district attorney, George Gascon, to keep criminals locked up to protect little boys like Gore. What did we expect? Did we really think that our children weren't going to be the victims of this? because they are. The family doesn't necessarily have the funds to bury their son. So if you would like to help, you can go to our website. There is a link to the GoFundMe.